Today, we visited the Minecraft dimension and found a cartoon cat baby. Oh, he was so adorable. Straight away, myself and my robotic companion Guido decided to adopt the little guy and welcome him to the Checkpoint family. Make sure you go ahead and give the like button a big hug by pressing it. Oh, and one more thing, make sure you subscribe to the channel to join the adventurers. It's time for the adventure to begin. Guido, I've been considering moving this bathroom. Don't you think we could use a little bit more privacy? Like the last thing I want to see when I'm microwaving my food or washing my clothes is to look over there and see you floating above that toilet. Robots don't poop, Steve. <sighs> ah, yes, you've explained this to me many times. I really should start paying attention, right? Okay, so let's go. Wait a second. What the heck was that? All right, just stay right here, Guido. Let me go ahead and check this out. Honestly, who could that be? I've told everyone that I don't want disturbing today. I've got some very important things to do, like microwaving and washing my clothes. This better be worth it. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. It's a chest, and it's full of a 64 stack of fish. What the heck? Guido, honestly, you need to start paying attention, okay? I asked for pizza tonight. Not all of this fish. Are you kidding me? Oh, pizza. I thought you said fizza. Guido, that's not a word. And I... Oh my gosh. Okay, well, maybe he's come back. Maybe the delivery driver's come back to drop us off another 64 stack of fish. Oh, that would just be... That would be our lucky day, right? What a dream come true. Okay, hello? Who the heck rang my doorbell? Oh my gosh. Guido? What the heck is that thing? Be careful, Steve. It's Cartoon Cat. No, no. He looks totally different. Cartoon Cat is actually quite tall and quite scary. This guy is tiny and adorable. Hello there, little fella. I mean, would you just look at how small he is compared to me? And one more thing. You see all of those particles rising off of him? That is baby smell. You must be freezing out here. Let's go ahead and... Hey, hey, be careful there. Oh my gosh, he's just jumped onto the ice here. Now he will truly be freezing. Welcome, baby cartoon cat. Welcome to my lab. As you can see, I have just revamped it. We've got these super comfy couches. Oh, oh, and follow me. Oh, are you interested in being our new receptionist? Because this guy is doing absolutely nothing right now. Look, come this way. Let me show you through to the decontamination chamber. This is where we do all the decontaminating of stuff and things. And also these guys who are sealed within their glass chambers. I should probably feed them. This right here is the experiment chamber. This is where we do all of our testing on random objects like blood altars and crazy swords and crazy other weapons. And listen, it's really not a place for a child. So let's go ahead and get you out of here. Come along. Come along, you. Now this through here, this is where all of the magic happens. This is my own stock room, which has been converted into my private office. Um, cartoon cats, are you gonna, are you gonna head down here? Come on, little fella. There's nothing to worry about. It's just a small ladder. Just come on down. Okay. I will just shout up to you, okay? So we've got a microwave. We've got two TVs, a washing machine, and a not very private bathroom. Steve, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think we should adopt this cartoon cat baby. Oh, really, Guido? Why ever not? Is it because you're jealous that I'm looking after this little guy now? Uh, no, Steve. I mean, think about it. If the Cartoon Cat baby is here, surely the mother of Cartoon Cat is gonna track us down. Psh, I'm not scared of the adult Cartoon Cat. We fought her many times. And every time... We have nearly had our spines eaten, and our brains devoured, and our legs chopped off, and our- Yeah, okay, she means serious business, but still, maybe once she sees how well I've looked after this cute little guy, she's gonna kind of forget about everything that's happened between us. 
But Guido, I guess I can see where you're coming from. We shouldn't expect Cartoon Cat Baby to be around us at all times. We can't just adopt her and treat her like our own daughter. No, instead, we are just going to give her the bare minimum. You know, just some food, maybe like a little place in the corner to sleep. Or maybe a full master bedroom. What do you think about this, Cartoon Cat? Nice to see you getting yourself all set up and ready for a lovely night here at the Checkpoint Minecraft Dimension Lab. We've got couches. We've got receptionist areas. We've got everything you could ever want, including a full stack of raw fish. And whose fault is that, Guido? I'm sorry, Steve. I'll get pizza next time. Promise. Oh, Cartoon Cat, are you all cozy? Are you all tucked in? This is going to be your very first night with us. Oh, Guido, how much fish did you feed him? He's still bouncing off the walls. He's so excited. Okay, look, you have to tuck yourself in, okay? Because night has fallen and there are a bunch of monsters out there that want nothing more than to have Cartoon Cat Baby for supper. Oh, jeez, Guido. I think we've really frightened him. Well, don't worry. None of those monsters out there are quite as scary as your mother, okay? She is a terrifying beast that will stop at nothing than to... Oh, gosh. That may even be her. Look, listen, little guy. I've become really attached to you, so if you could just go ahead and shuffle your set... Look, little guy, I've become really attached to you, so if you could just go ahead and, like, shuffle yourself into bed, that would be greatly appreciated. I don't want to lose you. I mean, clearly, your mother is going to want you back, so please, 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 please get back into bed. Pretty please? Ugh, this is so embarrassing. No, Guido, it's just my motherly instinct, okay? Listen, all I want is to keep this guy forever. That's not too much to ask, right? Come on, just get in there. I don't think... Oh, jeez. She's here, isn't she? Guido, I believe that Cartoon Cat, the original Cartoon Cat, may have found us. And she is bound to want her baby back. Whew. Okay, come on, Steve. We all knew this day was coming. Let's do this. I know you're in here somewhere, Cartoon Cat. There's nowhere to hide. Hello? Cartoon Cat? I- Oh my gosh! Um, there she is. It looks like she's looking for her baby. Well, you can't have her, okay? She is mine! Oh gosh, Guido, I think we've made the original Cartoon Cat very, very angry. We are being chased all around this experiment chamber. What a terrible mother you are. I was always the better mother. <sighs> well, adventurers, I never thought I'd see the day where Cartoon Cat and Steve are fighting to become the mother of a baby. Things are getting weird in the multiverse. No, Guido, Cartoon Cat is still chasing after us, and she is not letting up. She probably won't relent until she's found her baby safe and sound. This is truly a battle of the mothers. Who is the better mother? The one that's a giant seven-foot-tall cat with razor-sharp teeth? Or the guy that's slaying the beast with his diamond sword? Ow! Ow, did you see that, Cartoon Cat? Really? You want this beast as your mother? Gah! Oh, oh my gosh. We may actually lose this battle here, Guido, if we are not careful. Cartoon Cat is so powerful. All right, she's approaching. Oh my gosh, a few more hits and we should be able to do this, but we are being hit all over the place. Stop. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we're cornered. No, no, get away from me. No. Oh gosh, uh, I'm trying to get out. No. Oh, oh no. Slayed by Cartoon Cat, the original Cartoon Cat. Well, thank goodness, Guido. Night has successfully passed, and we are still here. I mean, we did get murdered brutally, but we're back. And it's time for us to go ahead and recover baby Cartoon Cat and get out of here. No, Steve. I won't let you do it. That baby belongs with its mother. <sighs> Guido, I guess you're right. There is rarely an occasion where kidnapping a baby is a good thing. Apart from today, this is one of those occasions. Let's go ahead and get Cartoon Cat Baby back. Oh, Cartoon Cat Baby, it's your daddy. Wow, that is the weirdest thing I've ever said. I'm back. Don't worry, Mother Steve is back and we shall finally be reunited. All right, buddy, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going in with no weapons, no nothing. So this should be absolutely fine. Okay, there's Cartoon Cat. Wait a second. There's two of them. Um... Cartoon Cat Baby? Oh, jeez. <gasps> One of them is the Cartoon Cat Baby who has grown older and is now a fully adult Cartoon Cat. Oh, my gosh. 
Whew. Okay, so it turns out that after everything I did for that baby, after everything I did for the child, they have grown into a full cartoon cat and now want nothing more than to eat me alive. Well, I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree now, does it? After all I did for you! You know what? Fine. Keep this place to yourself. Keep it. It's a lovely family home. I'm gonna go do a bit of traveling for a little bit. And oh, by the way, don't think I didn't notice. You ate the receptionist, Cartoon Cat Baby. I let you get away with it last time. I will be back and I will not let you get away with it again. I mean, for the reasons that there isn't another receptionist to eat, but also for the reasons that I will have my revenge. Good day to you, sir. So, Steve, do we not have a home now? Ah, <sighs> yes, Guido. Unfortunately, this is the Cartoon Cat family's house now. But you know what? We had a good run. It was fun while it lasted.